we've prepared a number of different message templates, all in relation to the COVID-19 situation, which should be able to help you process through your patients for the upcoming immunizations. Going in to communicate with my patients, go into your download templates section. And in there we've built a section called COVID-19. And inside we have all these three different templates. One for do you want a vaccination? We can see we've got versions of this to go either to the MJOG app or by web messenger, by straight SMS or by email for those of you who have that on your system. You can click on any of these for a preview of the message. Will you want vaccinating when it's available? And a version by text. In this case, we're looking for yes or no responses. Latest information. With a link off to NHS triple one and further information by going through the links. Another one which sends people off for more information about the virus via a web link in their text. We may do a little change on that one. And on Max Vaccination Centre, it'll direct the patient off to the NHS website to find their nearest Max Vac Centre. Uh, similar will work via text as well. So again, we're going to be using these smart links. So with the text message, for your patient to be able to get the, the full meat of the content, then yes, they will need to be using uh, a phone with internet access, any smartphone, many feature phones for that matter as well. The three we have here are ideal for those of you who do not use NHS mail for sending your text. Uh, if I open up our vaccination, do you want one? Those of you using NHS mail, that won't work. Patients can't directly reply to your messages. So instead, there will be a selection of NHS mail branded templates in here, and those will be the ones you'll need. They will be the ones that include the text back number for you to have patients respond to you with. Now with any of these, I've already downloaded one of them. Let's grab the Max Vaccination Center download templates. That's going to put it into your lists. So if I back up a page, there I've got a few of them already, including a duplicate. From here on in, it's the same as any other campaign through MJOG, be it flu or asthma or anything else like that. So if we want to send out our do you want a vaccination, we've got our message, click into that. Which channels would you want to use? Uh, if you have more than one channel, it will be asking you. Um, let's drop an email and just keep to those two. If you've got this option come up, you will want to be sure that this tick box is ticked. That will ensure that patients who used to have the app but maybe have changed their handset, then they do still get the message come through as a text. If we want to change our message around, we can set up our message template and change what we want to send. These grey boxes are your question at the bottom of your message asking if patients want the vaccine or not. So, got a smart one and a text one. We feed it a list of all the patients we want to get our message to. At this point, you're going to have your search file from your clinical system. For EMIS people, we can use EMIS numbers. For System 1 people, we can use NHS numbers. I need to find my file. Of course, you'll have more than that to send. 
it'll then break down how many people it can and can't reach and also by which channels so I've got two going to the app none left over by text if there are any patients that you cannot send to then at the bottom of your page export cannot send to spreadsheet you then have a list of all those patients who need a phone call or a letter or something to that effect one way or another they are not getting a text from this system and continue delivery options is simply when do you want this to go and you could just send it out over one day. It depends how many patients you're messaging this to, especially if you're asking them to ring you at any point. You may want to spread the weight on that. Uh, hold control on your keyboard and pick more days and the system will split the list you gave it equally over those dates. Probably not worth repeating this message out. Uh, we'll leave that as daytime as well. So the message would go out between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Clinical coding, well, it's time for any of the coding you want to put into the patient record off the back of this message. Since we have two different channels, we have our smart messages, which would also include web messenger. And we also have our text messages. We want to be sure we put codes in both of these. So starting from the top, patient responses, we're asking them to reply yes or no if they want to be vaccinated or not. We need to tell it to look for those. They're not case sensitive, they are spelling sensitive though. And with the green crosses we will add whichever code is relevant to that response. Uh, I'm not privy to what codes you're going to be needing to use for that. And of course, SNOMED codes aren't the same as what System 1 are using. So just to show you an example of how this works though, if this is one of your first times, add an action. That's the green cross. Uh, this options box won't actually let you pick anything else at the moment. So yes, you're going for the top one and continue. You're going to need to look up a code. Okay. So you look up whatever it happens to be. You know codes way better than I will. Add action. You can use the comment space, it's optional, it's up to you for that. You'll want a code for when they say yes, you'll probably want a code for when they say no. Same process. And indeed, we'll want one for message delivered, I would have thought, so that's so you can prove that they got the message. This isn't that you've sent it, this is that they've received it. So, same process. Add action, continue, and look up your code. I'm just going to look up anything to do with text messages for this. There's a selection of different ones there. Many, many different ones, in fact. And of course, you'll know this better than I do. And you find whichever is the most relevant and select it. And comments to taste. We want one on no. However you want that to be. So that's one channel done. However, remember we do have two tabs up on the left here we need to add these codes into. Again, for if they want the vaccine, if they don't, and if the message is successfully delivered to their phone. We can continue with that. That will be everything you're gonna need for this particular message. We've got our messages here. Again, we can edit them if need be with setup message template. Review what we've got with the little icons. We fed it a patient list, pick your dates, add your codes, and go to send messages. So this gives you a review of all that's gone before, of how many you're looking to send and when, and what they're looking like. And below that, if you put your details down in here, including your mobile number, you can send yourself a copy up front just to be sure that looks right, and I would recommend that. 
when you're absolutely happy and you want this going out to your patients down below, you can send messages. Are you sure? Absolutely yes. And done. Now, even if you're sending this on the same day, there will be at least an hour between you hitting send and it going anywhere. So, before I wrap up this video, let's just say if you need to stop that message going out, uh, for whatever reason, how do you do that? Well, we can manage previous communications. This keeps the history of all the now messages you've sent and campaigns that you've sent. And we can use the top of the table here to filter out our messages for when they were built and so forth. I can see mine right there. I can also see it's been uploaded, so that's ready to go. If I click into it, we're back in this page again. But if we scroll a bit further down, this control panel is where I'd like you to be looking. In here, we can cancel the message, making sure it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't delete everything. It just means that we can change whatever it is we need to change. Do we need to remove some typos? We can do that. Do we need to use a different patient list? We can absolutely do that. Or change the dates, however you need to change it. If you have fed it the wrong list of patients, you can clear your patient selection down below. And our final option here, create a copy, will take the wording and all the templates that you've been using and it'll take all the coding that you've selected and build that into a new, fresh campaign for you. Let's do that, in fact. Like that. So my wording's all there. My coding is all there. So all of that's done. I just need a fresh list of patients, tell it when to go, and we can get that all set. So yes, we have a bunch of different messages available in our library saying communicate with my patients into download templates in the COVID-19 section see if those work for you and you're running a campaign to get that information out to your patients.